In an effort to discover the craziest experiences on the planet together, I've always wondered what it would be like to fly first class. So in this video, we'll test the world's highest rated, the Game Changer First Class Emirates. Generally, it is twice the price for a business ticket and 10 times the price for a first class ticket. But what really happens when you pay so much for your flight, is it possible to make the ticket price profitable and is it worth doing it? I don't know, but we will find out together very soon. Welcome to this new experience. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I hope you're all doing well. Listen to this. We just shot a 10 minute intro in the car, but the mic was off. For the first time ever, I will experience a flight other than economy. Hmm. As a result, this video is composed of two parts, and both will be named We Fly in Business. You see, all this is so far away from me that at that moment, I don't even understand that both words mean the same in English. For a guy who was a scholarship student until a few years ago and who never had any money, I must say it made me feel very, 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 very weird for a video to spend so much money on a ticket. But as usual, since we want to experience everything together, we want to improvise, and therefore, this video might be a little different than usual and I will be in vlogging mode the whole time, and it will be just you and me. I'm a fan of the spontaneity of videos, and when I discover sports or whatever, I purposefully don't try them beforehand, or at least stay as far away from the thing as possible to have my first reactions with you and discover the thing with you for the first time, and I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but today I'm excited since I'm going to do something I've always dreamed of doing in my entire life. Go before everyone else at the boarding. There's a line at the boarding gate, as you can see. Hi, Tristan, can we How take pictures, please? How are you, friend? Yeah, it's fine. Have a good day. It's business class and first class, and there's an express line for the first class people. You have to access the lounge, which is between Louis Vuitton and Hermes. <laughs> it's really a stereotype. <laughs> have a nice day. We have the first class ticket, also a suitcase that is 28 kilos, while the classic suitcases are 25, and it's no problem. Life must be good when you're rich, right? We're not gonna say that you're happy because of it, but let's just say that there is a way to relax a little more on the boring situations of everyday life. I think it's been two or three times that we have blocked some stuff, but as soon as I show the ticket, it unblocks. <clears throat> First flight or not, you still go to the classic passport control, so I still find myself in line with everyone. I actually thought there would be a different line. Hello. Excuse me, there was a myth that when you're in first class, you don't go through passport control what at all? What do you all? mean by first class? Am I just a jerk, or is there another entrance or something? Uh, I don't want to disrespect That's you. That's fine. You're a bit of an idiot, yes. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay. One, tell them that I'm the one who's okay. going to. Thank you. Thought there was a problem. Hello, is this your bag? I always get random control, first class or not. It doesn't change anything at all, and I am so surprised. <laughs> a nice Louis Vuitton, it is here in the middle. Let's go and discover a new world. Hello. Welcome to the lounge. Thank you. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh yeah, right, okay. People who travel in first class clearly don't have the same life as the rest of us, so we don't let them notice us and make them think that we are one of them. Mm. I speak softly so that I don't get noticed by them. By them, I mean the upper class human beings who have too much money that they don't know what to do with it. Mm. But this food is really good. I'm always late and this will give me a reason to be on time. Anyway, I mustn't overindulge because there's lots and lots of food on the plane too. And I think it's unlimited caviar or that is what I've heard. I have to make it worth my while, guys. 6,000 bucks, can't go wasted. When should I go? It will not be necessary to delay, <laughs> but at some point it will come for you. Ah, okay, we're being picked up. All right, the plane doesn't leave without you. They come and get you in the lounge. <laughs> Look at this, she subscribed. This is an airport announcement. All remaining passengers, we advise you to proceed. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, good. Have a good night. Have a good day. Sorry. Well, you see, in first class, you don't take the same aisle as the people in economy. Hello. Hello. How are you? So you'll stay here. Uh, calm down there for a moment, buddy. Here I will reverse the order of the flights in the video to save the best for last. So before we see this, 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 and this, we're gonna go up gradually and start with my second flight in business class. So straight after the first flight. Okay, so now you can see someone is checking me out. Hello. Hello. There is the gentleman who picked me up and now he is escorting me. We're in the lounge of the business class of Emirates. We have access to a whole thing that is unknown to me since I've always been used to waiting in the street or right next to the bathroom to plug my phone into a socket. Here you have seats while you wait. You have a TV, you have unlimited food, you have drinks, and you even have ice cream. So we're gonna go get some. It's good. I even saw that there was a gym here. We're even able to take a small shower. It's all part of the ticket price. You serve yourself and you eat what you want when you want. Amazing. Hello. Since the lounge is all you can eat and 
there are lots of different choices, I try to calm down because it's all too good. And we still have two flights that come with some hardcore dishes. And they're supposed to be caviar and food that you only see on flights that cost as much as this one does. The flight is in two hours, so a little nap on this pseudo couch, which is ultra well designed. How cool. Hello, I just got up from my nap and I'm gonna go do a little muscular awakening before going to check-in since I have like half an hour and after we will go have a shower and then we will leave for the first flight. Everything you need, you have a shower and soap, done. It's amazing to be able to take a shower in the airport, you know? YouTube is crazy, it really makes us test things and ride lots of stuff, so if you ever come across this channel or it's your first time, what I basically do is learn and experiment more in physical areas, even if there are mental things, but the principle of this channel is about learning and experience in general. So don't hesitate to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out and to help me reach my goal of 1 million subscribers. Thanks. The first thing to note is that there is a separate gate for the economy and for the business and the first class flights. Let's go travel on business now. Since I have a stopover, I have two flights and one flight out of two is in first class. And this is my suite here. The good news is that we have space for the legs right here. That is very cool. But for the price of the ticket, I was expecting a little more space here. Now I discovered that there are two different types of Boeing at Emirates, and in the first one, the business class, it looks like this right here. But this is mine. It kind of reminds me of the difference between the Big Mac in pictures and in reality. While everyone is in the lobby and there's a lot of noise, I can put my stuff away and introduce you to the sponsor of the video who made all this possible. This video is therefore sponsored by Babbel! It's simply an application whose goal is very simple, and that is to make you learn a new language as quickly as possible. Understand? Do you need a more spectacular entrance? <laughs> Ugh, and in fact, a bit like the wind tunnel, Ted went much faster in skydiving, Babbel. It is a real hack to save time in learning one of the 14 languages it offers to learn. As you know, when it comes to learning new skills, I'm starting to know a little bit about all the little tricks that can help us learn faster and optimize our progress. It's amazing, and I really do enjoy it. Whoa! Afterwards, we all make mistakes, and from classical English, Spanish, German, through Turkish, Swedish, or even Indonesian, you will find your happiness in life. Air, mineral. Air, mineral. And, if you're wondering, the lessons are created by more than 150 native teachers. There's lessons for all levels. You'll have everything that you need, from day one, to speak English, for example, to fluent English, like someone who really understands that practice makes perfect. Ini Adala Panempatan Produk. And what's stylish is that they've created a whole ecosystem to never bore you while you're learning. You can learn on your phone or on a computer, and you have different options such as live online courses, podcasts, articles, and the last point I like is that you decide how much time you want to give yourself each time. And if there is a day you don't have much time, you can just put in little 10-minute sessions daily. Personally, I advise you to do small sessions a little more regularly. If you're interested, just click on the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off of your 6-month, 1-year, and lifetime subscriptions. So, jangan ragu ragu. <laughs> it means don't have hesitate in Indonesian. <laughs> Back to the video. so pissed off they don't have a first class. Exactly. <laughs> Mark told me that he often takes first classes and business classes and that this is the worst business you could have ever done in your life. Can you believe it? <laughs> I hope that the flight in first class will be more interesting. I have just been given a toiletry kit. I got some deodorant in it, then some tissues, and a brush to do my hair, toothbrushes, toothpaste, a razor, a little perfume. I feel like a beauty YouTuber, guys. It's unbearable. Okay, it's taking off, and there's a lot of noise. So I'll explain in voiceover. We won't lie, it looks better than the classic economy, but I still expect it better than this. But there's a bit of a luxury feel to a lot of details that between us don't serve much purpose, but option-wise, there's nothing that changes too much. You have the same TV, you have access to the same movies, and the same features. In fact, the only thing that really makes the difference is this little automatic seat that you can tweak a bit, depending on your mood and what you want to do, so that this is the only thing. Whoa, whoa, wait! Stop thinking about it! You're not alone in the luxury suite just yet. Calm down. Good morning. I slept for six and a half hours straight, and there are a lot less options and things to enjoy that I thought, but it does the job right, you know? At least I got a real night's sleep in, so that's great. Someone came to offer me a drink while I was sleeping. It wasn't the most comfortable thing in the world, although it was obviously much better than the economy seat. But I confess that considering the price of the ticket, I find that this is a scam and nothing else. Let's finally go to the first class. After having discovered together the most overrated business of the game, we are honored and pleased to invite your favorite YouTuber to come and discover the best of the Emirates first class, aka the Game Changer.
here, you have the classic economy approach. As you move up, you get the premium economy. Then you have the business, as you can see, which is 600 times better than the one we had just before this flight. And finally, we have my room for the next seven hours. The first class, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> wow, insane. Thank you so much, Prince. Cheers. Sparkling water with uh, ice and lemon. lemon. Sure. Perfect. How cool is this? Appreciate it. I was just given slippers and pajamas to put on. I don't know what to tell you. I'm really shocked. Cheers. I'm not gonna lie. Though I am comfortable, I'm also uncomfortable because I'm not used to it. <laughs> it's not my world at all. I feel like I'm in a hotel room. For real, it's amazing. Yeah, look, Tristan, it's in first class. YouTube is paying for everything. Calm down. This is an investment to make you watch a quality video. Am I right? <laughs> I must admit that I'm also very happy right now. In fact, it's so good that I don't want to mess it up. I don't feel like sitting in everything. It's too weird. Am I going to do the basics first? Okay. Hello. Oh, look at this. Please enjoy. Okay, you got it. I was putting my stuff away and someone came up to me and offered me a date and some maple coffee. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna love this. This called Game Changer. I don't know. It's not the same vibe. People are relaxed, actually. Yeah, buddy. Now you are just discovering that in first class, the staff is really handpicked and that they really treat the customers like kings up here. So, of course, they smile more and they are much more pleasant than Karen, the stewardess in the economy who hears babies crying every day for hours a few meters behind you. Like, I don't know. I'll take, uh, one, I'll of, take each. one of each. Okay. Thank you. I think, don't think anyone in first class will come in here with just one cap and do this. Oh dear, this is so soft. I'm really shocked right here. You all are watching the video afterwards, but this is the first seat I've experienced and it was simply amazing. I don't know it yet, but I've just been told that this seat was designed by NASA and there is a position called zero gravity. It's meant to make you feel weightless, and honestly, of all the positions I've tested in my life, after the Upside Down Lotus, this is my favorite one. I'll leave it to the editors, but don't complain if the monetization breaks down. Tima, I press here. Oh yeah, it becomes a bad, oh that's crazy, I propose a very symbolic gesture. Now we're getting close to experiencing the best comfort ever, but Tema, since when can you get so comfortable in a seat? He just took it all away from me. He said that he will bring everything back to you once we take off. <laughs> There is Kate who came to offer me a photo, and of course I took two. Buddy is happy. They really take good care of us here. They ask, do you want this? Do you need something? Do you want coffee? A Polaroid to remember that 6,000 euro trip for in case you forget it? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing. Even your ex-girlfriend wasn't this sweet. First step is validated. There is Wi-Fi. Now we are at takeoff. I have AirPods, first class. We're really in the mood, and I'll be back in a few seconds. There's so much stuff, I don't know where to start. So just now, they brought me plenty of food to try, and it's absolutely amazing. Hello, Prince. Is this the request? So you can order whenever you like. I can eat all that I want. All that you want. My dear Prince, you don't know it yet, but you just made a big mistake here. <laughs> here, I have the cabin completely for myself. The menu is incredible. There is everything that you can think of. There is caviar, there is grilled beef, there is chicken, there is fish. There are pizzas, there are risottos, there are canapes, there is duck, there is all possible alcohol, there is truffle and much more. Here, everything is so good. You know, I think we are gonna change the video and I am gonna eat it all and not drink any water. <laughs> the normal people like me are right behind me. There is the air conditioning, which is so strong it hurts our nose and there are babies crying. And then right next door, there are people that have good cabins. It's quiet, and if they feel like sleeping or eating, they just have to do this, and then they will get it. One virgin mojito, a seasonal fruit, an affogato, and caviar. We recommend a shot of Belvedere vodka with the caviar, if you like. I follow you. Do you like Dom Perignon, the champagne? Uh, maybe just a little, just a taste. I think it's a good first uh, order. It's not human, brother. I will taste caviar for the first time in my life, but it's really worth it. I suggest you push literally every button that you can find. <laughs> this rises up. It's both a mirror and a compartment. And this, I think, is full of goodies inside. So it's like a sort of mini toiletry bag with facial toner, eye cream, pillow mist, and we have an oil to help you sleep better. No, it is an essential oil. I suggest I put it on my face. <laughs> oh, it's fresh. Really, I feel like I'm doing chit chat makeup. <laughs> this video makes no sense at this point. What is this? This is the last thing. It's for sleeping, so it's not for me. Hop, it's gone. We have a small pen. Perfect to learn how to do pen spinning when you're bored. Let's try that again. 
bless you. Thank you. He asked if I'll have some Dom Perignon. I told him yes, <laughs> but I don't really drink champagne. But when it offers you Dom Perignon from 2012, then you drink it. I was 14 when it came. <laughs> In my life, I prefer champagne. All right, we'll do it like the guys who know how. Oh yes, it was in the summer monsoon, that, ah, it's a noble vine, southeast France, yeah. This is not a 2016 one. I think that, oh, it moves, it moves, it moves, it moves the entire time. It's both good and not good at the same time. It is like soy. The truth is that I don't like it. Ugh. So on my right, it's like an iPad, and this is linked to that right there. And you have all the flight information. It shows you how to connect to the Wi-Fi and also a USB if you want to share your screen to the TV. But here are movies. You can customize everything that you want to. If you do that, it makes you FaceTime a crew member so that you can say, Hey, I want a sautéed roast duck on a bed of foie gras and caviar, and they bring it to you immediately. Small air conditioner, USB-C, the TV remote is right here. On my left, there are a lot of buttons, and they are for the lights. It's like in the Yakuza. They impress me a lot. You can also manage your temperature. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, I will let you enjoy it. Thank you. What is this? It's very good. All oh, the fruits, they're hardcore. It's kind of like potatoes, but I don't know how to tell you. It's too good. This is some curry and beef. I wasn't too confident because I'm not a fan of raw shrimp like that at all, but this is so good. I'm going to tell them I want a sorbet. I'm adorably shocked actually right now. What is the average price of the caviar? For 30 grams, it can be about a thousand dollars. How much? A thousand. Premium, yes. It's made from a mother of pearl. Pearl? Yes. Like this? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Brother. That means if I order caviar six times, I'll make this flight worthwhile. This is to keep the taste of the caviar the same. Marcinello, he just explained it to me. In the price of the ticket, it actually includes that as well. This is 1,000 euros for this. It smells like nothing at all. <laughs> How do I eat this? I take this spoon and scoop up the pearls. Here are 100 euros. Wait, I'm not sure. I'll eat it like yogurt. Discover chocolate, vanilla, and coffee flavor. Wait, I'm gonna go back one more time to be sure, okay? I still don't understand the hype, though. <laughs> it's okay. In real life, it's good. It's sweet and salty. I have a good feeling how we're gonna make it work. Just like this. It's not bad. It's not as good as tacos, but not bad. Tell me you're exaggerating without telling me you're exaggerating. I have to be rich. I take that back. Tacos are very good and are the base, but now I just made a little mix here. Marcelino, bring me one more, brother. Look at his face when I tell him one more. I can't believe I'm burning through a thousand dollars just like this. There is not even a single egg left. <laughs> it's my first time ever trying caviar and I love it. Can I have again? <laughs> one more? Yes, sure, one more. Let please. me bring it for it's you. It's really nice. <laughs> this is mushroom soup. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm forgetting the fact that I'm on a plane. I just feel like I'm in one of the best culinary restaurants in Paris, and it's amazing. Round two. No idea what it is. Sorry, I don't think it's the most entertaining video in the world, but right now I'm just in the mood where I'm enjoying my life. Oh, oh no, why did I drop 500 euros? Shit, now I'm out of caviar again. Oh, if I'm gonna ask, then technically I paid for it, right? Just one last, please. It's gonna be perfect. Now I just use the card. I have to finish the bread card. The real reason, you know? You have to be profitable, no matter what, but you gotta be honest, it's really good as well. <laughs> Today you are lucky, we do have an extra one. Oh wow. If you're flying in first class and my colleagues on the next flight, they won't up. But today, it's meant to be your day. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Really appreciate it. He just told me, nobody takes three caviars in the first class. Well, <laughs> hi, it's me. <laughs> Let me finish the 3,000 euros right here. He said, just enjoy, this is the last one that we have and we don't have any more. You ate it all. He just wants to see me happy and all that. Marcelino is just the best ever. Look at this, 500 euro slice of bread. Practice makes perfect. He gave me some vodka too. My father will insult me when he sees this video. You know, he raised me to have good manners, you know? <laughs> I put on my little slippers and I'll wash my hands. I didn't show you the bathroom before. The idea is that it's like a regular toilet, but better. Like you have perfumes here, you have unlimited towels. The toilet is worth more than my house. It's so stylish. You can choose whether you want cold or hot water. Now I pressed on bed lounge. As a result, I am fully lying down. Guys, I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Ah, she's so sweet. It's really for the benefits of this video that I am doing it. Frankly, I'll do anything for you, so I must take a nap. Uh, okay, I'll see you. So, bye. 
steps were after validating this extremely difficult task, which consisted of having my best nap at 40,000 meters altitude in a NASA-designed seat. I had two hours of flight time left. I had pressed all the buttons and tested all the features that I could possibly try. So I thought I'd go do something that I never really do. Be ready for a drum roll. I'm gonna watch a movie. Yeah, I know that for most people this is normal, but I never allow myself to do that. Oh, wow. So a little golden hour right now, and... It is while we are at the end of the movie, so that's pretty cool. This moment is really precious. What did I do to deserve this? There are only a few minutes left before we land. All good so far? No, it's okay, perfect. They're really sweet. Like this, we are ending this premiere about Arnold winning. Dubai. So that's where all those people I met on reality TV dodge French taxes. Now look at this. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Quality of the meal, bravo. Courtesy is, bravo. I don't know what you think about this. I don't know what you would have done in my place, but please don't hesitate to tell me. I'm taking this with me, anything I can. Tax them. It's time to say goodbye. It's Thank you so pleasure. much, Marcelino. Appreciate it. Appreciate nice it. to meet you. Thank you so much, Prince. Ciao, see what you. What a pleasure. Well, one more box checked. Will not have succeeded in making it profitable, and this is probably my first and last first class, but it was a truly out of the ordinary experience that had to be experienced. Feel free to tell me in comments what you thought of it. And now I say, ladies and gentlemen, goodbye.